Hello Aries, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your monthly tarot reading May 2018. <clears throat> so the first card is showing up the topic for you Aries for the month of May. The second card does shows up the things you can go for or the opportunities you can take advantage of. The third card does expresses up <clears throat> the best course of action during the month. The, uh, the fourth card does shows up the challenges that you need to face during the month. And the last one shows up the final outcome or the result of all that. All right, so uh, let's see what awaits you as a topic or what the month is going to be. We have the Five of Swords. So this month is going to be about scoping and scaling your personal limitations and personal capabilities as well. So you don't um, <clears throat> risk a certain positions in your life, like a positions into your relationship or like a positions into your career. Very important here to be said is to that you need to hold your horses, guys, because it is very likely that this could be a trap you may fall into in a sense of that a, a certain opportunity may come into your way and you you think that it is awesome opportunity and you jump into it unprepared you know without being uh, without making any um, <clears throat> actions to uh, let's say to um, you know any actions to actually make a milestone for yourself to step on in case it doesn't work out etc etc as well as this card speaks for an aggression here that you may have which can force you to make some um, Irradical decisions or some kind of like a harsh actions during the month that you will most likely will regret forward. This month with the Five of Swords is a month where you will learn a lesson, a lesson that you will not want to repeat going further into the future. And also the card sometimes does express humiliation, all right, and express unfair treatment that you are going to endure from a side of your bosses and your supervisors, but in the same time is going to realize your true limitations and your true capabilities and that could be a force of a, a big change coming in in the next months following into this uh, into this year then we do have the opportunities you can go forward here and that is the tower card so using the aggression here you could actually start making transformations into your environment either into your career or either into your relationship very important to be said is that you will have with these couple of cards you will have the power to um matter or rather like um how can i place it to be significant all right and um if uh, something should succeed you need to take a part of it otherwise it's not gonna have that inertia that force you know to 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 be brought to the very end which means that into your career you may expect to be involved in majority of the projects and when it comes to a relationship here whenever you uh, you have in your mind and you want to initiate it simply can be initiated and it can happen and that's why I said that you need to know your limitations because you may end up winning something but this is not going to be a happy victory is going to be a, a bitter victory for yourself realizing that you either um, rush it way too quickly and you weren't ready for it or that you actually hurt your partner more than you gain for the enterprise you went after very important again Hold your horses, guys, and analyze very carefully where the transformation can happen and how it's going to happen because the tower card is about rumble and it is about chaos, havoc, etc. etc. But because it's something you can go for, how big the havoc, the, the, the havoc, the rumble, and the chaos are going to be depends on you and depends on your aggression. Very important is just be calm, be humbled, and be very calculative when it comes to actions. You need to act based on logic instead of emotions because uh, acting upon emotions most likely will not just humiliate others but as well will hu humiliate yourself. Then we do have the best course of action here and that is the nine of wands draw from your ex past experience and as well before you actually jump to the big transformation you need to make small rearranges into your rearrangements excuse me into your environment so instead of going for the big change straightforward guys you need to make it as a, a snowball effect St start from the small things furthermore and then <clears throat> you know you will see how they are going to fit in the grand scheme of things 
things. Not to mention that the conjunction of these cards points that you need to draw from a poignant experience of the past, realizing that you had a lesson there to learn, learn it, drink through it, sleep through it, you know, grave through it as well. But do not allow that lesson to repeat itself during this month, as we said here with the Five of Swords. That being said, you need to act better this time, all right? Because these couple of cards here showing, as I said, showing that you will matter, you will be of a great importance and significance, uh, Aries says, and uh, things will happen the way you want them to happen, all right? So I hope that your cause is just, I hope that your intentions are right, and they are supported by a um, accurate convictions as well so uh, you can actually initiate the, the transformation either into your career and either into your relationship for the better all right because you need to know that with these with this with this conjunction here the transformation can happen either way and it will depend on your efforts you want to destroy your relationship they might get an act you know dramatically be a drama queen and bruise upon your partner uh, humiliate them insult them and destroy your relationship you know be my guess or you can be milder you can be calculative you can be more humble you know and initiate the transformation in a positive way it depends on your approach <clears throat> All right, and also that card points that you need to aim to combine the differences in the sense of that in case you're seeking for a, a potential girlfriend or a boyfriend, then it is time guys to go out, stop being a, a lonely wolf, okay, and start in, <clears throat> interacting with people that uh, seem to be an interest for you because that way uh, it does look like that you're going to find out that you are crushing into someone with these couple of cards and under crush I mean that this is going to be a mutual crush at the start it doesn't seem that it's going to be that way and it's because at the start it doesn't seem it's going to be that way this is where you can make those stupid actions all right that you're going to regret forward and you again have to be very calculative and do not presume that is very important do not be biased about the um, outcome of your situations but take one step at the time and then we do have the challenges that you're going to face here with the four of wands and four of wands in your case says that this cycle is not going to be complete in other words this energy here is going to carry on in the next month month of june and that will annoy you and aggravate you in a certain point because you will want the things to stop and straight away you know fast and immediately etc etc for example example is a person of interest you expose yourself in front of them saying that you do have an interest in them that you do like them and you do want them to be your boyfriend or a girlfriend you know and they say okay let me think about it oh my god and they think about it for two entire months and that will annoy you it will aggravate you in a certain way it will make you lose your patience but again you have to be humble and very calculative you know because here the good thing happens the good things for you are is, is are happening slowly not instantly the bad things are happening instantly that being said <clears throat> again i will i will repeat it once more guys it's uh it's simply you do have the power here all right you do have the power to to do it the way um to do it any kind of way you know in any case and uh it will depend how patient you are and you need to show high virtue of patience here so you can reach the cycle of completion probably due June due the month of June and uh, have the reason to celebrate it otherwise you for what it seems is going to fail yet again if you rush toward your destruction because here these this couple of cards as a conjunction points that any harsh action um, and uncalculated action is not going to be the the march of victory but it's going to be the rush for one's destruction and then we do have the card pointing in case these conditions are kept so you're humble you're patient you very well know what you you are capable of okay you very well know certain actions how they're going to inflict upon one situation and how far they're going to get that situation in other words you don't think the more of you but you are very accurate about yourself and your position we do have the seven of cups just like in pisces here the seven of cup points that you will have a big clearance 
since I'm being capable of making anything virtually happen, but you need to maintain again the logic, the parts of logic, you need to maintain again the humbleness, you need to maintain the, the soberness toward the situation and you need to maintain the acute sense of your personal capabilities and limitations and it is very vital here as well to realize that there is more than one way to look at something. I'm sorry there is some crazy kids outside it's kind of like it's ridiculous. I mean these kids are always screaming you know I don't know what what kind of education they do have. Anyway so uh, <clears throat> that being said you need to make an, an accurate diagnosis you know how capable you are how far you can go if you push the situation and as well how you can prevent a, a poignant experience from the past to happen again all this can be achieved if you have the virtue of patience all right and again you are just for against you know against yourself accountable toward oneself and uh, <clears throat> you do not actually um, have their celluloid expectations that being said there is this was your tarot reading for the upcoming months may 2018 i hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time Bye.